My name is Katie Terrell of Speedo USA, bringing you an inside look at the fifth annual Golden Goggles, held here at the star-studded Beverly Hills Hilton, honoring the accomplishments of the nation's finest swimmers. So join us now as we had a chance to catch up with some of swimming's biggest stars, including Michael Phelps, Dara Torres, Natalie Coughlin, and more. All right, Dan Hicks here with Speedo on the red carpet of the Golden Goggles, covering the event tonight. What does a night like this mean to you? Uh, it means I get to break out the suit. Uh, which I just want to add is 2007, so there's nothing special about it. But on another on another subject, this is a great night. Uh, it just gives me a chance to kind of reacquaint myself with all the great people of the swimming world. Rowdy and I have been doing the Olympics now for years. We've got a chance, I've got a chance to really know them on a personal level, and it's, it's really a great night to see them all honored for, uh, for a year well done. Natalie Coughlin, 11-time Olympic medalist and dancing phenom. Tell us what it was like to be on Dancing with the Stars. It was the most amazing experience. You know, like I've been swimming my entire life and I've been competitive in swimming. And I've wanted to dance forever. And I had a purpose to train just as hard as I have for the Olympics and swimming for another something different for dancing. And I had a wonderful partner and I'm still so sad it's all over. Debbie Phelps here on the red carpet, mother of Michael Phelps. Debbie, what do you enjoy most about a night like this for the sport of swimming? Coming together as a family definitely is very exciting. Just watching all the athletes coming back and joining that bonding, you know, that they win Rome and a few months off and now they're back together and it's very exciting that way. All right, Katie Hoff here with Speedo on the red carpet of the Golden Goggles. Katie, I hear you just made a big move out to Southern California. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I moved out in September to California and it's been great. It's been sunny. I've actually gotten tan. It's, um, the training's awesome. Um, I feel like a completely different person and I've just been having a lot of fun. Yeah, and how is it different from Baltimore, aside from the weather? Aside from the weather. Uh, it's just, I've actually had um, some girls my age training partners and that's been new. I've been I used to training with the guys a lot. So it's it's nice to have some female companions and um, been I have a roommate for the first time, Caroline Burkle, which is, we have such a blast. So it's been great. Here with Michael Phelps, 14-time Olympic gold medalist with Speedo on the red carpet of the Golden Goggles. Michael, what does a night like this mean to you in the sport of swimming? Um, well, you know, whenever we have an event like this, it's, you know, everybody you know, who you travel with and, and who's on the national team, um, you know, we're, we're able to come together, uh, dress up actually, uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're able to, you know, have every, everybody who supports us here and, and celebrate the night and celebrate the year. Uh, and, and, you know, I think it's, it's, this is obviously something new over the last few years uh, for swimming, and it's, it's something that you know, I did, we, we all definitely get excited about, so it's, it's a good event. All right, we have Ryan Lochte here, six-time Olympic medalist and longtime Speedo swimmer here on the red carpets with Speedo. Ryan, you had quite an exciting swim at World Championships. What did it mean to win the title in the 200-meter IM? Well, I mean, getting second behind Michael so long, I mean, it was finally good to get in there and like actually show the world that like I can do it like that I'm there to race I'm there to have fun and I mean I'm just happy yeah and when you returned did you get right back into the water and start training hard again no way no I took a break I'm still kind of like on a little break but I'm getting back into the water after this so I mean I'm excited I'm ready so this next year is going to be good Brooke Burns here with Speedo on the red carpet of the Golden Goggles. So we love has, the Speedo. <laughs> has swimming been a part of your life? Oh yes, definitely. Um, ever since I was little, my dad was a swimmer actually at SMU, and I brought him here as my date tonight, oh, which is kind fun. of fun. Yeah, I thought he would love this. And um, then so after he's gonna get up and race Michael Phelps then. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm putting him out there. No, <laughs> I'm throwing we'll him under the bus right away. We'll put him against Michael Phelps and you against Natalie. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go warm up. Okay. <laughs> Bob Bowman here, coach of Michael Phelps, here on the red carpet with Speedo for the Golden Goggles. Bob, tell me what a night like this means to you in the sport of swimming. Well, I just think it's a great night to celebrate the accomplishments of the World Championship team and to really focus some more attention on swimming, so it's a very good thing. 
And you and Michael had huge years in 2008, big performances at 2009 World Championships. How do you hope to see the sport of swimming grow as we get closer to 2012? Well, I think as we move toward London, we'll continue to see more TV coverage and hopefully some more exciting performances to generate more interest. Dara Torres here with us on the red carpet, five-time Olympian and swimming icon. Dara, tell us what it means to be here tonight at the Golden Goggles. It's, it's fun to be back at the Golden Goggles. You know, it's a place where we can all get together and there's no stress about swimming in any meets and we just have fun and see each other. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just great to be back and, and hanging out with everyone. And you've had um, a bit of a bump in the road in terms of the leg here. So tell us about the surgery and how you're recovering. It's more like a mountain, not a bump. <laughs> it, uh, I, I've had a major reconstructive knee surgery, and uh, they had to do a lot of stuff about five weeks ago and um, clean me out and, and reconstruct it and transplant cartilage. And I have about a year recovery, so um, I can't even get in and swim yet. The most I can do is just walk in the pool and just sort of get a whiff of the chlorine. Um, but I'm looking forward to the day when I can get back and, and start swimming and see what happens if I decide to go for 2012. Tommy Lasorda here on the red carpet of the Golden Goggles with Speedo. Tommy, you are giving the Coach of the Year award tonight. Any tips out there for the swimming coaches that are here tonight? Well, you know, I talked to the swimming team before they went to the Olympics and told them what they need to do to win. <clears throat> and they did win. They're great. They worked hard. And any coach who is successful is a coach who can extract from each and every player all of the ability that he possesses.